Hey everyone, hope your week is going great. Um, as I was grading chapter four, I noticed pretty much everybody completed and turned in the 4.2.4.5 connecting a wired and wireless LAN with connecting all the different devices together and everything. That actual packet tracer file, remember you only got to turn in the packet tracer file for that one, uh, that one particular assignment that is. Um, most people got that going. Remember this one, the first PDF 4.2.4.6, viewing wired and wireless network interface card information. That you complete for your own benefit. It is good real world information. It doesn't matter what computer you're on. You just complete that one on your own. It is good information to see how you view that information on your personal computer. But the one you do need to complete as well as the packet tracer, this one's just the PDF. It's 4.1.2.4, identifying network devices and cabling. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can complete this lab. If you scroll to page two, they've got an example here. There are six total spots here, so five more that you need to find of Cisco devices. doesn't matter. It could be Nortel routers or Avaya, any other router um, or switch that you can think of, whatever brand you choose. And you need to fill in the model number here. They've given an example of a 1941 router. And then what physical characteristics, like what ports does the actual device have? Now, obviously, you may not have one of these at home because they're very expensive. But one thing you do, uh, you can do is either Google the model name or you can look in Packet Tracer. So if we open up a brand new Packet Tracer file, and it can be blank, in the workspace here, we can drag in, let's say, a um, let's do a 2960 switch here okay we go to uh, the physical device view and zoom in and you'll notice there are 24 fast ethernet ports on the back here and then two gigabit ports over here to the right now of course if you can't see that you can just get the device name here Catalyst 2960, and then Google it, and it will show you what ports are actually on the back of this device. Um, one that may be a little easier to see, uh, let's drop a 2911 router in here. We zoom in. You can see up here it's got an auxiliary port, a uh, mini USB, and a regular console version of the same port, three gigabit ports because it says GE000201 the ones with the yellow tag, and two USB ports. So you don't have to drag in more ports and stuff. These are just the main ones that you need to look at. Um, so those, you know, again, if you can't see that, just Google 2911 router for a Cisco 2911 router So um, and see what comes up. So, you know, you just want to fill in that chart, but you do need to save it and upload it to Moodle as well. So hopefully that helps. If you do have any further questions about how to complete that PDF, right here and fill in this information, be sure to let me know and I'll try to help you out further. All right, thanks.